Hey everybody, this is Wild and Wooly Gaming coming to you live from Middle of Nowhere, the center of everywhere to bring to you today a full review of the XM1 main battle tank for the American Premium Tech Tree. This is a 9.0 BR battle tank at the time of publication and uh, could go up, uh, who knows, because this is a very good tank and I'll be going over a ton in this video, but before I even get into any of that, remember like, comment, and subscribe as it all really means a ton to me and I will be producing more and more and more and better and better and better content. That being said, I'll be going over a ton. I'll be going over its weapons, uh, mainly just its its uh, cannon, its performance in game, its play style. I'll be giving you the stats, including a, uh, a win-loss rate for it. And I'll be giving you uh, kind of what makes it unique, some pros and cons, uh, a proper Leopard L44 comparison because after all, if there's any one tank that you will be cross-shopping this with, more likely than not, it will be the Leopard A1A1 L44. I'll be giving you a six-part comprehensive score near the end, and I will also be giving you a final word insofar as what my recommendation is for this tank, a complete recommendation whether or not I do want you to go for it. That being said, I'm sure a lot of people will just kind of go towards the end, uh, maybe for that L4, uh, L44 comparison, but I'll tell you this, I do recommend this tank. I'll get into all the reasons why, but this is an excellent tank. It's just a really good all-arounder. But again, if you want to find out why, stick around for the rest of the video. That being said, insofar as the stats are concerned, uh, they are excellent. Uh, but don't take its armor at face value, being that it has very advanced armor on it. So, 83 kilometer per hour top speed, and again, these are realistic stats as front side rear armor as 114, 31, 31 for hull, and for turret armor you have 114, 38, 25. Again, these are advanced armors and actually feature better capabilities versus heat FS and stable rounds. Now according to Thunderskill, the XM1 has a uh, pretty good win percentage across the board between arcade realistic and simulator. So for arcade it has a 52.73% win rate, at 1.76 frags per battle, realistic 53.65% win rate at 1.71 frags per battle, and simulator 65.91% win rate at 1.02 frags per battle. Now I couldn't do a proper comparison unless I told you the Leopard stats. So for the Leopard A1A1 L44, you're looking at a 58.96% win rate at 2.87 frags per battle, realistic 52.58% win rate at 1.71 frags per battle, and simulator as high as an 88.06% win rate with 4.48 frags per battle. Now when it comes to simulator, one of the reasons why it's probably so high is because uh, there's not really a lot of simulator matches going on, so data can be skewed one way or the other. But insofar as the other stats are concerned, I find them fairly believable, especially for the Leopard being that it has a bigger gun. Does that make it a better tank? No. It probably makes it... Uh, a little bit more of a destructive tank for its BR, but I don't really know what stats, like it, it doesn't tell you if they're at 9.3 BR matches and how well it performs there. So take these at face value, but it does show the Leopard performing slightly better overall uh, compared to the XM1, at least in regards to um, Arcade. But when it comes to realistic, they're very similar tanks. That being said, the XM1 uses an M80 or M68 105mm cannon, which has a host of good ammo options. Now, headlining these ammo choices are the 400mm uh, penetrating heat FS round, as well as an APF SDS round, which can go through about 353 millimeters of armor in ideal conditions. Uh, that being said, it also features Hesh ammo, smoke ammo, and a regular stock. Uh, stable round of which only goes through about 260 millimeters of armor maximum. This is not going to be your preferred round in this tank, more likely than not, being that it just does not have favorable ballistic characteristics. That being said, for its playstyle, this is really just an all-arounder, although its speed really highly encourages uh, flanking. It also has a, an excellent turret rotation rate, which again lends to flanking. Ultimately, while it does have some advanced armors that protect against heat and similar types of ammo, it is simply uh, just not enough to consistently protect against more modern ammo types. It is, however, significantly more uh, highly armored than the Leopard A1A1 L44, and as such, 
allows it to get into some frontal confrontations, frontal confrontations uh, more successfully than the Leopard. Uh, its gun, however, is not as capable as other guns, although uh, it's, it's still extremely potent with APF, SDS rounds, and even the Heat FS rounds, depending on the circumstances. So as far as the pros and cons are concerned, there's more pros than there are cons, because this is just that type of tank. It is extremely fast, uh, even when compared to all other 9.0 BR tanks. Uh, very few tanks in the game as, as a whole even come close as excellent acceleration and reverse speed. Uh, just really in general with this tank, it is just a speed demon. Above uh, average slash great gun with good ammo choices. Uh, just not as capable as its premium competitor uh, in the L44, but it is still more than enough to give you a shot at taking out most tanks at 9.0 BR+, assuming good shot placement. This gun is typically very accurate. As a very good stabilizer, it also has good armor, which, although uh, better than most 9.0 BR tanks and below, is not sufficient to protect you from much and as, as you get into higher BR matches. It comes standard with excellent night vision and thermal optics. It also has an effective turret traverse rate, has a good reload time, which, though not as good as production Abrams tanks, is still excellent and should not leave you wanting for more lead down range. Is placed at a, an extremely, and I cannot understate this, an extremely favorable BR. Many people feel that the XM1 should be 9.3 or higher. Uh, so as far as cons are concerned, this tank, uh, and, and more so they're kind of subjective, but this tank can kind of give you too much confidence, uh, especially if you're not familiar with this tank, which can lead to early deaths in game. As good armor for facing 9.0 and below, but diminishes somewhat quickly as you go up in tier. The side and rear armor uh, points are especially lacking. It has a good gun with good penetration and accuracy, but it just isn't uh, big enough to, to knock out most people in one shot like the L44 might. Uh, the top speed is great, but can leave you separated from your team if you're not careful. And additionally, and this is something a lot of people don't really consider, but this is definitely a priority target for most enemy teams. If they can pinpoint you, you might as well be number one on their uh, most wanted list. So watch out. That being said, as far as the comparison with the A1A1 L44, uh, when deciding which tank to purchase, again, these two tanks are really the big dogs uh, when, when kind of choosing one or the other. It will largely depend on your skill level. The XM1 has far more fail saves in the way of armor and speed, even though it has to face higher BR matches. That said, it also has near instant acceleration, whereas the Leopard accelerates much more slowly, relatively speaking. This can leave it vulnerable, especially at 9.0 BR matches plus. Specifically with the XM1, you'll likely end up finding a friendlier, more capable all-around tank that should allow you to do well in a variety of roles with consistency. Whereas the L44 uh, will give you feast and famine, sometimes equally. You may not have higher highs with the XM1, uh, as in you'll have some insane games with the Leopard L44, uh, but they are pretty darn close. And typically your lows when comparing again to the Leopard L44 will not be nearly as bad. Again, this tank is much more forgiving and minus the lower caliber slash lower penning gun, uh, you will have a comparatively better and more advanced tank by a wide margin with the XM1. Ultimately, I see it like this. If you could take the L44 gun from the Leopard and strap it to the XM1, you essentially have an M1A1 Abrams tank, minus the various armor and tech advancements present on this tank. If you give the Leopard A1A1 L44 the 105 present on the XM1, you'll have a tank that's very similar to the regular uh, A1A1, except with slightly better APF or ADS FDS round and slightly worse regular Sabo ammo. It'd be a wash, whereas the L44 added to the XM1 would definitively improve it, and to a substantial degree. Uh, degree. That being said, uh, as far as my scores for this tank are concerned, I give it for, and these are all based on the 9.0 BR bracket. For the gun, I give it a 7.5 out of 10, because that's strong and good penetration, uh, but it could be stronger, it could destroy more tanks, it could be a larger caliber. For speed, I have to give it a 9.5. Uh, this tank is an absolute speed demon. It can challenge almost any 
other ground vehicle in the game. Uh, and so far as armor is concerned, it's good but not incredible. Uh, protects against lower BR, uh, heat FS, and some APF uh, SDS rounds, but becomes a moot point once you start facing bigger cannons, missiles, and more advanced ammo. As far as internals are concerned, this includes stabilizer, uh, rangefinder, and crew compartment. I'd say it's a 7.5. It's very good, including the stabilizer and naval, uh, native thermal and night vision, but isn't too far out of the ordinary for this BR. Still, the stabilizer does keep your gun steady through almost all speeds. Fun factor, I give it a 9. Uh, it's very difficult not to have fun with this tank, especially because it has tremendous upside. Feels like kind of bringing a gun to the knife t uh, fight at times. It's really quite an impressive tank. As far as real world cost or really should you buy this tank, is it worth its value? I'd give it a 9 out of 10. Now, though this is not the insanely amazing impervious tank that I feel many people make it out to be for its BR, it is still an incredible tank that, if nothing else, seems like it is sitting at a favor very, very favorable 9.0 BR, uh, where it could still do uh, very well even at 9.3 or higher, as some have suggested. It can do everything at least well, and some things incredibly well, while you won't uh, really be finding anything that it does poorly. That being said, I give it a final score of 49.5 out of 60. Though this is, again, not a perfect tank, largely because of its armor, and it just doesn't hold up so much past 9.0. Uh, its internals seem to be very good, but not great in their entirety. This tank is about as good of a vehicle as you can find in War Thunder, premium or not. It's arguably the best premium in-game, because it can do everything you ask it to, and it'll do all of what you ask it to better than, than its competitors. That being said, uh, my final word, my recommendation, as you may have guessed, this tank is truly special. I highly recommend it, especially if a discount is there. It can do almost everything in the game better than almost every other tank, uh, you know, relative to their BR. And it's just truly a special, special tank. Uh, most people love this tank and some people hate it. But those, uh, those people that, that really hate it, are the ones that have to face this tank and chose to buy another tank uh, rather than the XM1 and now they have to keep facing this tank. <laughs> it's, it's again, I can't really recommend this enough. It's just the L44 will probably give you some insane games when you're facing 8.7 or even 9.0 and below vehicles, but the XM1 will consistently give you great games and most matches that you play, granted you can stay alive. So again, the XM1 is just a top-notch, great vehicle, and uh, again, I can't recommend it enough. That being said, let me know what you guys think. Did this review change your view on whether or not to buy this, the XM1, over the Leopard A1, A1, L44? Uh, and I'm not being paid by Gaijin to, to boost up XM1 sales, but again, this is a very impressive tank, and uh, I really cannot recommend it enough. Although, I will have this addendum. I would say the Leopard A1, A1, L44 is more for you if you're not really big into facing the most extremely modern tanks and if you like to have a more overpowered gun for the BR. Uh, and that's why you can get better matches at 8.7, I think, than, than oftentimes the XM1 can get at 9. Either way, remember, like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me what you guys think and uh, hope you guys have an amazing day, amazing night, amazing whatever you're doing. And uh, see you guys in the sky. Take care, everyone.